Hi everyone, I'm Chad Vanderpool with Special Olympics South Dakota. I am here with Nathan and Tyler from Empower You. They own Empower You and they are here to join us today and going through some training videos um, so we can make sure that you guys get ready for spring season and get back out there for athletics. Um, I know a lot of you are participating in the Move Challenge and these exercises that these guys are going to go through today are going to help you to be prepared when it comes time to get out there and get in activity again. Uh, as Chad said, uh, I'm Nathan Lee Master. I'm one of the owners of Empower You. Uh, what we're here today is we're here to show you a couple different warm-ups that you can do in order to get you ready for your move challenge and the upcoming spring games. So we're going to be going over everything as far as sprints, uh, distance running, overhead athletes, and long with uh, jumping. Hi guys, my name is Tyler with Empower You. We were asked by the Special Olympics to come out and help you guys kind of with your warm-ups and your dynamic stretches so that during your move challenge, during the upcoming spring games, you guys prevent injury, you move better, and you feel better. So today I have Nick with me, and what we're gonna be talking about is the overhead athlete. You guys that are throwing the shot put, also through the javelin, and then we will also cover the tennis ball and softball throws. Throughout this warm-up, we're focusing the first part on stretching, the importance of stretching the shoulders and the back, and then once we transition, we will talk also about how to warm up the actual throw. Okay, so first, Nick and myself, we're gonna get our shoulders warmed up. So we're gonna take our arms, we're kind of stagger here, and we're gonna go small circles forward. So everybody's gonna do 30 times. I'll be counting. 10. 20. And then we're gonna switch at 30. We're gonna go backwards now. Small, fast, controlled circles, focusing on the shoulders. Just trying to get some blood flow to those shoulders and get them warmed up so they feel nice and loose. 15. 25. And 30. We're gonna switch big front circles now. Everybody's gonna swim those arms just like you're coming through in a pool. We're gonna do 20 of these. Five. 10. Ah, nice big motions. 15. And 20. Switch and go back, guys. The same thing, just like your backstroke in the pool. Big swooping circles. Good job. 10. Fifteen. And 20, great job. Shoulders should feel nice and warmed up, so now we're gonna stretch them. The first one we're gonna do, we'll come back into a frame. We're gonna go arm across chest stretch. So we're trying to stretch the back of the shoulder, this portion of his shoulder. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Good stretch position to warm up the shoulder. That way we decrease any injuries, especially when we throw the heavier things like javelin and that shot foot for sure. About 10 more seconds. Should feel a nice stretch on the back of the shoulder. Make sure we're relaxing and standing nice and tall. Three, two, one, and let's switch. We're gonna cross the other arm over. If you throw right-handed, we still wanna warm up both sides. Just because we throw right-handed or left-handed doesn't mean we wanna get both shoulders warmed up. So do not feel like we only wanna stretch the one side. 20 seconds left. And the goal of this is to just get those shoulders loosened up. Make sure they feel really good before you go out and move or if you're preparing for those spring games. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, everybody at home, go ahead and you're gonna try to find a dish towel or a big towel or a t-shirt, whatever you can grab. We're gonna use it for two different stretches today. So Nick and I are gonna place this in our right hand. We're gonna throw it over our shoulder and we're gonna grab it with our left hand. Nick, I'm gonna have you go ahead and turn around and face the other direction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right hand and pull up to stretch the left shoulder. We can take that right hand and just rest it down. We're trying to stretch the back of the shoulder. We wanna feel this in his left shoulder for 15 more seconds. This is a nice, easy way to stretch your towel or take a towel and stretch your shoulders. Go ahead and stand nice and tall for me. Nice, there we go. Five four, three, 
two, and one. Now he's gonna switch. He's gonna pull down with his left hand and stretch his right shoulder. So now we're gonna feel this more on the bottom of our shoulder blade. This is called your lat muscle. These can get really tight when you throw a lot. And so we wanna make sure we get a good stretch in this position. And he should feel a nice stretch on the outside of that shoulder blade. This is a really good one for you guys. And it's as simple as having a towel. We're gonna to go 10, nine, and after this, three, two, one, we're gonna switch arms. So he's gonna take that in his left hand. He's gonna throw it over his left shoulder. Very nice, grab it with his right hand. And then we're gonna pull up again. So he's gonna grab that, get a good grip, nice and relaxed. And then left shoulder and left arm just relax down. Same thing, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. This one looks really good. He's doing a good job of staying nice and tall, nice and relaxed trying to get a nice easy stretch of that shoulder before we warm up. And 10. Holding this position for another five, four, three, two. And here comes that transition. We're gonna pull down with our right hand and still feel a stretch in the left shoulder blade. Same thing, he's looking for a nice stretch right through here and he's just relaxing in this. Not trying to pull his arm as hard as he possibly can. He just wants to feel a good stretch. If this is your throwing shoulder, this can get pretty tight. So we wanna make sure we loosen it up. And he's gonna hold that for another 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's go ahead and turn around. We can lay that up the floor. So that's your three easy stretches to work on for loosening up the shoulder. We're gonna talk a little bit more as we warm up the actual throwing motion about the mechanics and what we're trying to look for, but these are good ones to focus on before you go throw. Thanks guys. Hey guys, Tyler Anderson here with Empower You. Today we're gonna to also cover throwing mechanics and the importance of throwing mechanics. We've talked about how to warm up the shoulder but also we need to th talk about how to get the shoulder in a good position so that it doesn't get injured when we have the wear and tear of the full season of training for the spring games. So what we're gonna talk about is a couple basic tips to go through when we're talking short toss into long toss. So short toss is basically when I go out and I start throwing, I don't wanna start throwing as far as I possibly can. I wanna start with a friend about 10 feet away and just take some small little tosses back and forth and then slowly each step kind of back up and throw a little bit more. But let's talk about the actual throwing motion. So I have a softball here today. This applies to your javelin and your tennis ball throws as well. The importance of all these remain the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our tennis ball we're gonna stand in a position with our feet together. And then the first big component is a big step. If I take a short step, I'm not gonna have near as much power for my legs to throw it as far as I can. So first thing we're gonna work on is just a long stride. So I kind of open up, I kind of call this the W position because both my shoulders will come up in that position. So it's every time I take a big step and I hold that position. Position two is to make sure that my elbow is high enough. So when I take my big step, I shouldn't see this elbow nice and low. We wanna keep it up nice and high so that when I do come through my throw, my elbow stays above my shoulder. We don't want it to come down. You're not gonna generate as much power and the shoulder just gets put in a compromised position. So when I step through, I keep that elbow high. And then the last follow or phase is the follow through. We really wanna make sure when I throw, I don't just let it go right here and then just stop. I really want to make sure that when I throw it, I release, but then I follow through all the way to my opposite hip. So I step where I want to throw. So I'm going to step towards my target, big high shoulder, and then from there, I'm going to release into that follow through position. We'll demonstrate this a little bit more when we actually do a progressive throwing like soft toss into long toss, but this all makes sense because we don't want our shoulders to start having some injuries and we want to make sure that we maximize our distance when we compete in the games. Thanks guys. Awesome. Crushed it. All right, so now that we've progressed from our dynamic stretches, now we are ready to start the throwing process. Like I said earlier in the video, the last thing we wanna do is just go out and throw as hard as we can, as far as we can, as that sets us up a little bit for injury. So what we're gonna do to start is just some simple forearm flicks, progressing to some gentle throws. 
over a small distance. So I have John and Nick here and they're gonna demonstrate how to support the elbow and engage the wrist and forearm. So I'm gonna have John's elbow up and then he's gonna gently toss that to Nick. Go ahead, John. Good. And then he's gonna return the ball the same. They're focusing on just catching the ball. Good. That's why we got more softballs, have a few around. You can do this with your tennis ball and your softball throws, obviously not. Go ahead, John. The shot put and javelin. And in this position, they're just focusing on tossing it back and forth to each other, getting that forearm and wrist involved. Very good, last one for me. Great, so from there, go ahead and hold that. Nick's gonna step back to that red line. They're gonna have a little more distance. Now he's gonna take the hand away though. So now he gets to focus on the elbow and wrist still, but now he's actually getting to throw his natural a little bit more motion. So he's still gonna rainbow toss it. He's not trying to throw it as hard as he can. Go ahead, John. Great job, very good. Same thing coming back next. Nice job, guys. Go two more, go ahead. Perfect, so what they're focusing on is a little bit of a warm up with this quicker motion. Last one for me. We're not trying to overthrow on this position. We're keeping our elbow high like we talked about in the video. Last one coming back, very good. So at this point, there you go. At this point, the goal is to eventually step out. You probably lose the partner at that. And then we would start into what we talked about earlier with our step throws, okay? So at this point, they really focused on their feet were balanced and just getting that elbow and wrist involved. Now we get that bigger throwing motion with our shoulder back, elbow up, and we start stepping into our natural throwing motion. But now we've warmed up to that position a little bit. Perfect. Hey guys, so after we've done our stretches, we did our events, we threw, we did all the overhead athlete throwing with the javelin, the softball, the tennis ball, and the shot put. Now we wanna to stretch to cool down the muscles. So we wanna make sure we hold these stretches a little longer. So we're looking a minimum of about 45 seconds, and we will be doing three sets on each side, but for the sake of demonstration, we're just gonna do this one side today. I have John here with me. The first stretch is called a sleeper stretch. So he's set up like he's gonna to go to sleep, but in the video, he's not gonna fall asleep today. What he's doing, he's got his left shoulder, out in front of him and then from here he's going to keep the shoulder on the mat and then he's going to gently press with his right hand until he feels a stretch in the back of the left shoulder in this position he's just going to hold that we're trying to feel it in the back of the shoulder if we feel it in the front we're probably not in the right position he said he's doing a great job of keeping his body weight rolled over the top and then it's not hard as you can press it's just a gentle stretch and we're gonna hold that for about 15 more seconds. This is a really good one to loosen up the back of the shoulder after we've had a lot of throwing volume. So if you're out there and you're really competing, this is a really good one to hold and go ahead and relax. That would be our first stretch for the backs of the shoulder for all of our overhead athletes. Okay, so our next stretch is for the mid back. We wanna focus on mid back stretches because when we throw, it's not just straight in front of us, we really rotate and throw hard through the mid back. So we wanna make sure we stretch it out. So he's gonna do kind of a runner's mid back stretch. So he's got his left leg crossed over his right. You can either put your elbow or your hand. It's more comfortable for John to rest his hand. So I'll have him go ahead and place that there. You can go ahead and rest this hand here. And then he's gonna gently use his hand to twist and open his chest towards this direction. In this position, he's gonna take really slow, deep breaths. So I want you to kind of inhale slow, and then blow all that air out. We're gonna do this nice and slow for about 45 seconds again. Each time, every breath, he's trying to work a little further in towards that rotation. From there, we would just switch sides, and once again, we would do about three reps on each side. Cool. All right, our last stretch is for the front of the shoulder. These big muscles called your pecs that run along the front of the shoulder can get really tight on the follow through portion of the throat. So we wanna make sure we stretch the front of the chest out as well. The last one you can do in your doorway at home, it's easy to do, and we would do both sides on this one as well. John's set up where he's gonna have his hand kind of relaxing on the top of this mat. At home, you would just kind of have your hand flat on the doorway to make sure that his forearm stays in contact with the mat. He's slowly gonna just turn away from that position until he feels a stretch right here. He's gonna hold that position and just kind of relax into it. Try not to hold it too much. There we go, perfect. You're gonna hold that for about 30 seconds. All we're trying to focus on is this portion of the shoulder. We don't want it to get irritable when we start really throwing a lot more as you get closer to the games. So we really wanna stretch that out. And then he's gonna hold about 10 more seconds. Just making sure he takes slow, deep breaths still. And two, 
one and relax. Important to make sure that we do all three of these stretches just to make sure that we prevent injuries long-term. So thank you guys for joining in and allowing Tyler and Nate to join us from Empower You to provide this Special Olympics training video, to get us ready for move challenge right now while we're getting ready at home. And then when we start practice for our spring and summer games coming up, um, they did a great job of demonstrating jumping, throwing, um, and short and long distance running and what we can do for warm up, cool up, and just to prevent all those different kinds of injuries um, and get back out there and ready to get things rolling again. So thank awesome. you, Nate and Tyler. Yeah, I appreciate it.